So good morning, everybody. My name is Mohan Rajkrishnan, and I'm actually a former student, a PhD student at the University of Auckland. And today I'm going to be presenting one part of my PhD project, which was investigating the genetic association of the Crab RF gene variant with obesity and its comorbidities in the Maori and Pacific Island population living in Aotearoa, New Zealand. So as most of you know, obesity is a major public health issue and is associated with long-term increased risk of diabetes, heart disease, and early death. And it's no different in New Zealand with approximately one-third of all New Zealand adults either overweight or obese. Furthermore, there are ethnic differences with the Maori and Pacific Island people showing higher rates of obesity when compared to the New, New Zealand European and Asian population. And now there may be a number of reasons to explain the health inequalities observed among the Maori and Pacific Island people, and this could include socioeconomic status and sociocultural trends, but there may be an underlying genetic predisposition towards this increased weight gain observed among these people. And the Polynesian people actually provides us with a unique opportunity to study genetic factors in high-risk non-European populations, yet not many studies have actually done so. Instead, most studies looks at European genetic markers of obesity and test them in the Polynesian people, usually resulting in the misguided or negative associations among them. However, a very recent genetic study um, has identified a variation in this CRIB RF gene that's associated with increased BMI in the Samoan people and living in um, Samoa and West American Samoa. Um, contrary to the very strong relationship between increased BMI and type 2 diabetes, the same variant is also associated with reduced risk of type 2 diabetes, opening up discussion, what is the role of the CRIB RF gene in metabolic pathways? Now, several studies have looked at this gene and identified it as protein folding, but no studies to date have looked at it metabolism. Interestingly, however, this gene is not observed in any other ancestral groups, such as the Europeans, Indians, and the Asian populations. Of more interest is that this gene variant effect size is larger than any other known gene variant. And this is shown by this diagram here, where approximately where having the presence of one minor allele is associated with a 4 kg increase in body weight, assuming the person's height is 1.7 meters. Now, this compared to the hallmark genetics of obesity in European studies, FTO, which only shows a 1.1 kg increase. As you can see here, this unique relationship between increased BMI and reduced type 2 diabetes is conveyed, conveyed by the queer RF gene. Whereas most genetic markers usually associated with obesity is also affiliated with increased risk of diabetes. Therefore, we wanted to further test this gene variant with um, the broader Polynesian population living in Aotearoa, New Zealand, with a range of phenotypes, including diabetes and obesity. And we utilized the genetics of gout and di got diabetes and kidney disease cohort, uh, which was recruited by the University of Otago and genotype approximately 3,000 individuals of varying Polynesian ancestries, including the New Zealand Maori, Samoan, Tongan, and the Cook Island Maori. And what we found in our study is that the, we confirmed the presence of this gene variant not only in the Samoans, but across all Maori and Pacific Island subgroup. But what we also did notice is there are significant differences between the minor allele frequencies between each Polynesian subgroup suggesting there's a region-specific distribution of this gene variant. And this may be explained by the migration patterns and settlements of modern-day Polynesia. So the first settlers moved out of Melanesia um, into the islands of um, what's now called Western Polynesia into the islands of Samoa and Tonga. The genetic differences may be attributed to founder effects, where um, the loss of genetic variation may be due to small pockets of individuals coming from the Melanesia and residing in these newer islands. A second movement subsequently occurred towards eastern Polynesia around 500 AD, uh, with the Cook Islands and lastly New Zealand being settled around uh, 1250 AD. Given this time span and the population diversity that may be explained by these multiple movements during migration, it's not expected to see variations in the Crab RF gene variant across different Polynesian subgroups. We then tested for association with obesity and a range of metabolic complications in each Polynesian subgroup, then combined them to give it an overall effect. So in our study, we found a very significant association of the CRIB RF gene variant with increased BMI, which replicated the original findings from the Samoan study. Using a narco, another marker of obesity, uh, we also showed a significant increase of waist circumference around three centimeters. 
However, we also did show a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes in our cohort with an odds ratio of 0 0.6. Obesity is also associated with a range of other complications, so we decided to test the gene variant with other metabolic conditions, and we found no effect with gout or chronic kidney disease. This really unique finding of increased BMI and waist circumference but reduced type 2 diabetes has led to the theory that the CRIB-RF may be a favorable adiposity gene. Under the normal obesity paradigm, there's also an increase of risk of metabolic diseases such as dyslipidemia, hypertension, and type 2 diabetes. However, in favorable adiposity, individuals who are obese may be protected from these metabolic diseases due to having a larger subcutaneous to visceral fat ratio and increased storage capacity of the lipids within the cell. However, this is not a fixed process, and with continued nutrient intake, as the spillover, the lipids can occur from the cell and surround and accumulate around ectopic tissues such as the heart, liver, and pancreas, which will lead to the formation and development of metabolic disease. However, to confirm whether this is actually a favorable adiposity gene, Further studies are warranted, especially looking at markers that are closely associated with diabetes, including insulin sensitivity measures and lipid profiles. And furthermore, we actually have to figure out what the molecular mechanism of the CRIB-RF gene is in metabolic pathways. Furthermore, the presence of the CRIB-RF gene variant only in the Polynesian population has led to the theory that this may be a thrifty gene. Now, um, the thrifty gene was first proposed to explain the modern emergence of obesity. Obesity was considered an advantageous trait during the episodic periods of feast and famine. Um, during feasts, early humans do had the genetic tendency to store and utilize fat more efficiently, were more likely to survive famine and pass on the genetics to subsequent generations. However, in today's society, there is no famine. Instead, it's replaced by the constant availability of food and decreased exercise level. This creates a mismatch between our genes that have evolved to protect us with today's surplus environment, resulting in excessive fat storage and obesity. However, I wouldn't quickly surmise that the CRIB-RF gene is a thrifty gene and other options should be explored, such as the role of CRIB-RF in protection against infectious diseases and other genetic phenomena, such as bottlenecks and genetic drift. So in summary, uh, we have confirmed the presence of the CRIB-RF gene variant across all Maori and Pacific Island subgroups and also replicated association with increased BMI and waist circumference but reduced odds of type 2 diabetes. But to further confirm whether this is favorable adiposity, further studies are needed, especially looking at markers closely associated with type 2 diabetes. I'd like to thank uh, all uh, my funding bodies, Gravita and HRC, and my... Uh, the my professors, supervisors, Andrew Schelling and Tony Merriman, and everyone that participated, especially special thanks for the participants of the gout, diabetes, and kidney disease in Aotearoa, New Zealand study. Thank you.